man, that is, it's early this time of year. Um, so let me tell you what I'm doing real quick. I'm at a really special, unique spot. Um, basically, earlier in the week, my buddy Scott Rose hit me up and, you know, he's had a lot of clients ask him to go on snakehead trips and he just had to decline them because the snakehead fishing in big bodies of water where you can launch a bass boat has just declined within the past few years. I don't know if it's because these fish are just getting used to human presence or if, you know, people are killing them off. I really don't think it's that, but a lot of people do. Um, I think these fish are just getting that smart that it just makes them that much more elusive. But he called me up and says, hey man, I really want to get on some snakes on big in big water. Is there any place that we can go? And I told him I got one spot. I've never fished it before. And I just recently was granted access to it. So we're gonna give it a shot. Scott's gonna roll up in about 10 minutes and he's gonna see if we can put something together. So <laughs> I'll see you when the party starts. Did you see that? Yeah, was that a snake? Actually, I'm looking at him, dude. There he is, yep. <laughs> I totally missed. Did you see how bad I've missed that? You missed? You don't? No, I oh. got him. I'm talking about, I, I'm saying I missed the follow-up cast so oh, yeah. bad. No, I didn't see like, that. I led him by like six feet instead of just putting it like a foot or two. Look at that wrap. Out here scouting today and they're progress so far is pretty good we've had about seven or so bites on frogs and this is I think our third in the boat this fish might be our best landed so far we might have missed a couple better but time to put this guy back and keep it going dude are you kidding me that was another Dude, that was the second one. He's not huge, but he's, he's solid. Maybe not. Maybe not that. That's a bowfin, not a snakehead. I know. Actually, I think it's a mine. It's sick. Look at that orange spot. <laughs> I was out in the middle of the canal when this guy kind of caught me by surprise, and he was partnered up, which is bizarre considering the time of year. But another beautiful fish. This is, I don't know, in the forest maybe? Starting to push. Bigger and bigger, and this is definitely our new biggest fish of the day. So far, the scouting trip is it's looking good. Finding fish. All right. Okay. Made it. You got another one? <laughs> I thought I'd be slick. Fishing on the fish in the bank. And Scott freaking nails another one. Oh man, he's got a solid one too. Ah, all right. Five two. Nice. That's solid. So I dropped off Eric, put him in a spot that looked like he was gonna go crush on his own and I just made a little loop. And I got another one. This one came out to five two on the scales of the first one we weighed. They keep getting bigger and we're catching them faster now and things are looking really good. You know, they recommend that you... Oh, wow, snake. Get him. Good one. Good one. Good one. That's a freaking nice one. Oh, I'm, I got him hooked. He's, oh, you want another? holy shit, yeah. Yes, sir. Six five. Look at that. You won't let go. Definitely huge props to Scott for hitting me up. I had the down low on this spot. I've always known about it and never got a chance to fish it. And finally, we got in here and definitely paid off. So let's get this guy released. And off he goes. Every time I catch one, it's just like. I don't even know what to say, man. I lose track of thought. They're just, that, those fish are so epic. 
Right on, let's get another. Oh yeah. I mean, for that, for that type of fisherman, like the heavy duty, serious fly fisherman. Yes. Nice one. What? Oh man. Okay, we got to talk about this. That was a this bass felt it. That was a deep hook set. I think you you better revive him. All right, got another in between. Eric's still on the high from that big fish, and I've been make, I've made maybe ten casts since and got a couple of these guys. This guy slammed it like he was going to be a five plus pound snakehead, and I gave him a hook set that could have probably ripped him out of the water. But you know it's good to get some mixed species in here. I think that's our third or fourth largemouth now mixed in with all these snakeheads, so it's real good. John B release right there, dude. Get him. Good fish. Dude, he's running. That's definitely a snake. <laughs> that is another solid fish. Dude, this, this quality. Like, serious quality in here. Another one. Maybe a, I don't know, three pounder. Came off the back corner, he whiffed, kept retrieving it, and then came in and nailed it. Came full speed at us, and once he got to this pipe right here, I pretty much just ripped him right over the top, and then we got him, so. I think that's eight. Yeah. I'm piecing it together. <laughs> I'm sure that snake is just happy to go back. And you guys can see behind me right here, we are in a very, very urban setting. It's not like traditional snakehead fishing from, you know, where their native land is out there in like in Asia and Thailand. It's you're out there in the jungle basically it's not like that these fish love structure they love heavy cover and an urban setting is the perfect place for these fish oh my god that snake oh nice my god, job that's dude sick. a solid fish dude he that's was just cruising in the middle there Insane, dude. So, story about this fish. I looked up, and this guy is right in the middle, right behind me, just cruising, swimming on the surface. He actually was making a little wake. And I made a cast behind him. He's colored up. Made a cast behind him and started retrieving as fast as I can, put it right in front of him, turn, watch him lift his head, and destroyed it. Oh, oh, big oh big my mouth. God. <laughs> Dude, I'll take this all day. <laughs> Three, six, man, I'm still, I'm still shaking. I mean, this isn't like a giant fish, but when we saw the head come out of the water, like we saw the mouth first and we thought it was easily a double digit snakehead which we definitely have that potential here, but man, this is a solid fish in any state. We are for sure like in it. Boom. Nice little guy. Not even gonna bother bringing them in the boat. The big ones will at least cooperate for the most part, but these little ones, dude, forget it. Would See what I mean? I can't even. All right. I think most little fish are like that. Okay. There we go. That's how it's done. But I don't. You know. Ooh, watch, watch, look up. Oh. Oh. Giant. <laughs> oh my God. Giant. It's a giant. 
You in the motor, you good? We're good. Got him. Yes. <laughs> what up, man? How's it going? Que paso? Yeah. It's another six. All right, so it wasn't a giant, but. So it's like 410, 411. Yeah, a little over four and a half. Man, this one's got some spawning colors in it too, but this is another solid snake. What what do you say? So I'm freezing Indiana clutching nothing. <laughs> what are you targeting in Indiana cloud knife fish? Huh? What are you targeting in Indiana cloud knife fish? Uh yeah, no. Uh, one pound smallmouth bass and I can't catch them. Oh sick. Have you tried a Senko? Oh man. Yeah, it's a snake. Big snake? No, it's not big. Whoa! It's huge. No, he's just, he's a snake. He's wrapped. Oh my God. Look, look, look at him in the net, dude. Oh God. How did you? Jesus, man. Well, sorry about your carpet, Scott. Buddy, all right? He's moving, but the thing is, okay, here he goes. All right, drag, full, full lock. We're good. Yeah, I'd like to see one fish, one big fish to finish out this day. Oh. That is the net. Go up and around the trolling motor. This is a good one. Good fish. Oh, yep. Net him? Yeah, we'll net him. Yeah. Let it wear him out. Finally going. There it is. All right. That's okay. Yeah. I'm all right with that. <laughs> Epic. Big large mouth. Oh, <laughs> oh, that was sick. He was big. Damn it. Really big. Nice. Oh, what a what a moment to break out the big camera there, Eric. Literally was just like, all right, I'm gonna make sure we film this dock. Second cast. That's probably five plus. A really, really big fish. Awesome. anyways how y'all doing all right so I'm back at where basically I filmed my last video about the update of the uh, whole camera situation and my car getting broken into um, I just finished editing that video now I have to record an outro for the video you just watched. We actually did record an outro to that, but it just the audio didn't come out really well. So we basically just wanted to talk about the day pretty much and just go over a little bit of what we were doing you know we had access to this body of water that normally you can't access so one that kind of played a key role in locating snakeheads to begin with in december and then of course you know just talking about the species in general you know it's not their fault that they were introduced to florida so there's no reason to kill any one of these fish we let all of them go as you saw in the video and you know if we were to keep any one of these it would have been consumed and nothing gone to waste but that's pretty rare for either scott or myself to keep any fish whatsoever so now we're not saying that snakehead fishing has changed at all it's still difficult to catch these fish out of big water 
Um, we just had a really unique situation. And even then we had to be very accurate with our cast. There was somewhat of a pattern that we could see. We were able to capitalize on that. Everything just came together. It was a great day. So that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Just wanted to close out the video because the original closer didn't do too well. So here we are. And once again, thanks for letting me borrow your camera, Scott. I really appreciate it. And the rest of you guys, I will see you in next week's video. Got a nice banger coming out for you. So definitely stay tuned for that. But till the meantime, make sure you get out there and find some inspiration. Go catch some big old fish. So my fish ninjas, I will see you in the next one. Peace out. You know what? I'm about to get soaked. Okay, made it. Dude, what the f You got another one?